Friday has seen plenty of sunshine this morning, though it's starting to get covered up once again as there's another patch of cloud cover that is crossing most of the state line at this hour. We can see that on exact track satellite and radar. We can see that area of cloud cover just kind of slowly making its way off to the south. Plenty of sunshine across the Dixon and Oregon areas and across mainly our Mississippi River counties. But as we look behind this area of cloud cover, we see another bank of much clearer skies. So we'll continue to see a mix of sun and clouds pretty much over the afternoon and evening. So make sure to get out and enjoy it. This is the most sunshine we've seen in about a week or so. Now that's helped our temperatures warm up pretty quickly this morning. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if a few spots, including Rockford, maybe even getting into the low 50s this afternoon. But then we'll quickly drop as clouds begin to really clear out, especially after sunset, probably having a pretty nice looking sunset tonight, but those temperatures will quickly drop already reaching the 30s by 10 o'clock, probably getting down to the upper 20s even as we wake up tomorrow morning with those clearing skies as well as those calming down, the winds calming down as well. Heading into the weekend though, Saturday looking like an even better day because we have plenty of sunshine and notice even warmer temperatures, mid 50s, much closer to average for this time of year. Make sure to soak it in while it's here because Sunday looks to bring some soaking rain showers but temperature is a little bit cooler as a result also pretty breezy gusts up to 35 miles per hour and even the possibility of a few thunderstorms here on, we're looking on future track more widespread very light rain showers though into early and in early parts of sunday morning that would be a pretty quick round should be out of here by lunchtime on sunday and then towards the afternoon we're going to be seeing some more spotty activity. These would be the chances for thunderstorms lasting throughout the afternoon into the evening, but then should be drying out heading into Sunday night. Drier conditions, though, mean good news for our rivers. And an update here just in the last few minutes, even the flood warning for the Kishwaukee River in southern Winnebago County has been canceled. So and flood warnings continue for the Rock River in northern Winnebago County, as well as the Pecatonica River from Sherland on over to Freeport. So continue to watch those river floods. Uh, level, the, the river levels over the next few days, although they should be quieting down a little bit with drier weather over the next couple of days. Then that chance for rain comes in on Sunday. Some of those clouds may hold off into Monday, though of course we are going to have to watch out for the eclipse forecast. Looking pretty good, maybe seeing those clouds breaking up by the afternoon, but of course something we'll keep an eye on over the next few days. And in your most accurate 10 day forecast, we're going to be seeing those temperatures climbing into the 60s, getting even above average once again for this time of year. So next week, certainly going to maybe look and feel a whole lot like April, something we haven't been able to say for much of the first part, at least of this week and the first week of April. Second week of April, looking pretty nice there, Manny.